Hey guys, Linemaker here from Linemaker Studios, bringing you what I get another episode of Hide and Seek with my booty in your face. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We're going to be playing a brand new hide and seek made by Pooch the Panda. Hello, Pooch. Uh, so, this was 100% built by her. Oh, line maker. That one did not age too well, did it? Shaking your booty while making a video with Paige the Panda? Nice one, bro. All right, it's 2020, so I'm not really surprised that one of the worst years of all time is also one of the years of, you know, the most pedophiles. We've had Benji Kroll, we had Tony Lopez, we had Mini Lad, and now we have Lion Maker, which all of those guys have in common is they all like Mini Lads. And I mean, Lion Maker is old news, but I really just wanted to talk about his pathetic comeback to YouTube. It is absolutely abysmal. I mean, right off the bat, you can just already notice that his channel is pretty dead. It's more dead than any channel I have ever seen in my whole life. I mean, homie averages about 6,000 views on a 45,000 subscriber channel. I mean, that is really, really bad. Now, that's not really what we're here to judge on. You know, I don't really care if his channel is dead. That's not really what I'm here to judge about. What I'm here to judge about is the way that he is handling the situation, and it is honestly pathetic, and it is just disgusting. One thing that Lion Maker loves to say is he loves to come out here and try and make himself seem like the victim, and he loves to make himself seem like he did nothing wrong. But I don't understand how he can say that he did nothing wrong after he literally confirmed in this video that he took screenshots of her nude on Skype. He's taken advantage of that. He's groomed her, and worse yet, he's treated her like a virtual prostitute, getting her to send him pictures of her rectum, and even... She never sent me pictures. I never asked for pictures. She never sent me pictures. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So you're probably wondering, you're sitting there, yeah, but Lion, like... Where do those pictures come from? Those were screenshots. Those weren't pictures that she sent me. Those were screenshots taken from a Skype call. She never sent pictures. I never asked her to send pictures. That never happened. Okay, thank you, Lion Maker. You just made yourself essentially look worse. So, well, you're just gonna tell me that she said that she wanted to do that for you in front of you? I mean, to be honest, bro, as an adult, because I'm an adult myself, Lion Maker. I am a 20 year old man, Lion Maker. If I got on the phone with one of my fans, like let's say one of my fans wants to Skype call me or VC me on Discord, and then they proceeded to get nude in front of me, I would tell them that is not okay. I would tell them why that is not okay, and then I would leave the call. Saying that they were screenshots does not make it any better it actually makes you look worse it makes you look like more of a creep yeah i don't really understand what your point was there i mean was that trying to like clear your name or something and then in this live stream that he actually streamed last night while i'm recording this video it was actually like six hours ago he said no he never actually had those pictures and if he did he said quote i would have gone to jail the cops would not have given me my stuff back but then not even a couple minutes later he follows it up with saying no the tweets weren't photoshopped and that was him tweeting that out so i don't understand what you're getting at here line maker <laughs> oh god tfu do you deny all allegations with you and page and having child pornography <laughs> in your position oh fuck off you should <laughs> Right, right, I know. I, I said that once. Veshka makes a very good point. I said that once. I said, look, I got all my hard drives, I got all my phones, I got all my computer back. If I had even an ounce of child pornography on it, do you honestly think that the police would be like, hey, we found some really dodgy shit on the computer, but here, have it back. No! No! There are images of your tweets showing Paige's nudes. Are you saying they are photoshopped? No, they're not photoshopped. And if you say they are, why do you think they would be do so? No, they're not. They're not photoshopped. They're not photoshopped whatsoever. Yeah, so just based off of these clips so far, we can see that he is starting to go a little cuckoo. Am I right, guys? Like, this guy is not mentally there. And I'm not gonna lie, line maker. This part has me pretty pissed off, bro. Not gonna lie. This part is so disrespectful to Paige and so disrespectful to any other victim. Lion maker says that he tried to protect Paige the panda. He tried to protect the victim of Lion maker grooming her. But the thing is, is that, like, that sucks because to be, to be honest, that's the part where I feel really bad for Paige, and I try to protect her as much as I could, and I try to take the blame for it, like, I try to take the blow for it, so that at least, you know, it would kind of, I don't know, maybe make things better for her, which it didn't, 
Y'all still give her shit about it? Y'all still shame her for it? Oh, my bad, line maker. I didn't know that I was attacking Paige the Panda, bro. I'm so sorry. Bro, there would be no one attacking Paige the Panda if you just knew how to keep it in your pants, dog. Now, look, I'm not saying you did anything physical with her, but you're still disgusting, bro. Absolutely disgusting. My bad, line maker. I didn't realize that I'm the bad guy in this situation. I didn't realize that me, that has never, ever jerked off to a kid, is a bad guy. I thought all along it was you, bro, but I guess that I should go turn my Myself in for I, I don't even know what 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 are you trying to get at here bro I just don't understand your point and then he says that we should just not listen to Paige who is the victim here who was groomed by line maker and we should um take what line maker says for face value bro I could grab any letter Paige wrote me and you tell me if she was abused you fucking dumbass. You're really such a dumbass to scratch the surface and to scratch like to fucking scratch the surface and look at the things that are in between your nails and pretend like that's the entirety of the fucking topic. Like you're such a dumbass. Instant page says you abused her for three years. Oh, did I? Did I? Oh, God. Is it, the havoc is that really what you got to lean on on her like little video where she lies explicitly in it and honestly this is where i struggle the most is finding the balance between honoring page because i did love that girl like and and don't fucking perverse it you disgusting idiots because you always fucking take shit and then make it your own little thing and turn it into your own disgusting little view like just shut up just take what i say for what it is and just shut the fuck up you know what, Lion Maker? No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think that I'm going to take what you say for face value because you can't even keep up with your own thoughts. On one hand, you say that you never had CP, bro. You never had pictures of Paige the Panda. And then on the other hand, you say that you did. In this video alone, just in this video, you've confirmed it twice and you've denied it once. So you can't even keep up with your own thoughts. Why would I believe you? Lion Maker, you're over here saying there was no abuse to this child. You're saying there was no abuse to Paige the Panda. Yet on your Twitter, which is why you are suspended and you can never have a Twitter again even though you do have a Twitter right now which you're doing it wrongfully. You posted pictures of her in sexual positions and pictures of her nude. How in the world is that not abuse to you bro? Ousting someone's body like that is extremely abusive and for you to think that that is not makes me think that you have no sense of reality. And obviously I can't show this on YouTube or else I will probably get a strike or my video will get age restricted or whatever. But I'll link Colossal is Crazy's video in the description below below because he did a great job on exposing Lion Maker. I think you guys should all check it out. You even posted a picture of you cutting yourself and saying that if Paige the Panda did not take you back, then you would continue to do it and that it brought you much pain. There is a very clear difference between physical and mental abuse, Lion Maker, and I don't think that you know the difference. You think, oh, since I wasn't there, then I wasn't abusive towards her. And these new videos of you just trying to uh, defend yourself, even though it's failing, it just makes you look even worse, bro. And I don't understand why you keep uploading, why you keep trying, why you keep going, why don't you just take your channel down? It's just going to hurt you in the long run. It's just going to hurt your image. It's just going to make you look even worse. And all Line Maker is doing right now on his YouTube channel is responding to videos, making himself look even worse than he already does on his channel. And whenever someone posts a negative comment, they get filtered out. I cannot find a single negative comment and he has tons of dislikes. The fact that this is winning over anyone makes me honestly terrible terrified for the future of the platform. The fact that there are people like Lion Maker, Mini Lad, Benji Kroll, all these other weird dudes that are into children and they get to keep a channel. They get to keep going on this platform. YouTube allows them to stay. YouTube thinks that those guys are family friendly. That makes me upset as someone who has two younger siblings and both of them are women. I do get pretty upset whenever I have to talk about people that are child predators because I know how Lion Maker is. This guy is a complete manipulator. Lion Maker, at this point, I genuinely don't know why you are on this platform. Is it for money? I don't really get why, bro, because this is just going to continue the fire. Like, bro, do you know that people are going to be looking you up whenever you try and get a job? Because let's just be honest, your days on YouTube are over. Even if it's somehow fake, Lion Maker, like, let's just say this. Let's just say the accusations against you are not true. Let's just say that. It doesn't matter at this point, Lion Maker. If I go on an incognito tab and I look you up on YouTube after your own channel 
channel, it is almost all videos about talking about you and your past and why it's troubling. So I don't understand the point of even being on this platform anymore. It is not going to work out for you, bro. And I think that you should just retire YouTube and honestly content creation or at least stop jumping around the truth. And whenever I was watching a Q&A on your live stream, you were just being super harsh to everyone. You would call them names, tell them to shut up after them asking what happened with the whole page the panda situation. I'm sorry, but if you want anyone to take you seriously, you need to first be nicer to people and stop being so damn rude. But honestly, line maker, I don't really care what happens to your channel. I think that it would be a good thing if your channel got deleted because you are interested in children and I don't think people that are interested in children like you are. Why is Leafy is here banned but line maker and mini lad have channels still? YouTube, you guys have a lot of explaining to do on why mini lad and line maker can continue to make content, continue to grow and continue to thrive. Their Leafy gets banned, completely kicked off of the platform for no reason. But stuff like that makes me want to quit this platform, man. But honestly, I'm just glad that I'm even on here so that I can express my opinions and give you guys my thoughts and everything. And I appreciate everyone that watches. If you watched all the way to the end of this, I really do appreciate you. This is like one of my longer videos that I've made in the last couple months. And yeah, you guys are awesome. I'm going to go ahead and end off the video there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you do end up subscribing, turn on those post notifications. If you do turn on those post notifications, go ahead and check out all my other outlets in the description below. In the description, there's also going to be Sensitive Society and Colossal is Crazy's video on this topic. Go ahead and check them out. They both pretty much inspired me to make this video because I saw that Line Maker is back and I thought that it was an absolutely pathetic return to YouTube. I guess nothing has been 100% confirmed, so I guess I should add in the end here that these are kind of just allegations, but he's pretty much admitting to it now twice just in this video. I don't really understand why he denies it whatsoever because, I mean, he admitted to it twice and it was literally on his Twitter timeline and he said that those weren't Photoshop, so I don't know what he's doing. Maybe it's to protect himself from legal trouble. I don't really know what he's doing to try and protect himself. And by the way, before anyone says, well, it might be legal where he's at or whatever. No, I don't really care about that. It could be legal for you to shoot and kill multiple people and blow up schools. But if you blew up in schools and killed multiple people, I would still make a video talking about how much of a piece of crap you are. Legality does not equal morality. And I don't think anyone should agree with anyone, even if it is legal, that it is okay to get pictures from children. Oh, sorry, my bad. In the words of Mr. Lion Maker himself, screenshotting a Skype call where she's naked. Like, that's any better. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace.